All right, guys, congratulate me. I'm now a real Dubaian, or what's the right word, a resident of Dubai? You're a resident of the United Arab Emirates. Thank you so much, really. He got it done for me in no time. This card gives you infinite possibilities. Anyway, for those who need to open a company or get an ID, I'll leave Victor's contacts. Write to him, he'll do it quickly for you. He's the only person in Dubai who does it with a guarantee. And do you know what else he can do? You don't even have to fly to Dubai. Victor can do everything remotely for you. For example, if you need to open a company or get an engineering license or a car rental license to drive a car like this, Victor will take care of that. You'll just come, sign the papers, and the company will just be transferred to you, and that's it. So the next step is to get a driver's license. We'll also show and tell you how to do that. License accounts, that's the next stage. Yeah, the next stage is the license and accounts, but I'm already a resident. That's already cool. Besides that, you now have responsibilities. You can't drive with your Russian license now. You'll get fined and arrested for three months. And we're telling you all this, too, because you can get into a lot of trouble with it. Yeah, this is very important. So, we came to the Mall of the Emirates with Sergei, and we have a life hack for you. If you go to Mall of the Emirates, go to the Kapinski Hotel, hand your car over to valet parking, and go straight to Mall of the Emirates. Here's the exit right away. Then, buy a croissant, and you'll get a ticket for free and drive out. Yeah, so they just validate you, which means that you use the service and you don't have to pay for parking. Why did we come here? We came to Rolex because one person had recently given me a gift. He asked me not to say anything about him. He gave me a Rolex, but it's too big for me, so we're gonna have the bracelet reduced in size. But I can tell you that this is my club mate, and the gift, of course, is very nice and expensive. No one's ever given me such expensive gifts. Sergey, have you ever been given an expensive gift? No. Okay, well then give you a watch for your birthday. Thank you. Hey, we'll chip in with the guys. Sorry, you don't have to. Now we'll show you a life hack on how to buy a bag at the Armani store. You always have to wait here. Their marketing works in a way that it's simply impossible to buy a bag just like that. In other words, you first have to buy a bunch of other things, and only then do you deserve to be sold a bag for $20,000. You come to the store and say, I'll buy these, these, these things from ya. But it's best to choose some kind of jewelry, chains, and so on. Next, you choose a bag, and then you reserve it all. In two hours, they'll call and say, come get your bag. They have all the bags on site, so you don't have to order anything and wait. Everything is always there. They just trick you into buying more stuff you don't need. And if you come in and say, how much do you need to buy? Well, the price of things in total should be equal to the price of the bag. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I mean, so guys, yeah, there are people who resell these bags. They sell them for twice the price. So here's how they do it, or even more. They buy all this jewelry, and then they sell it for less than the market price. Everyone wants bags. Nobody wants jewelry. How much is the bag? Starting at 10,000, right, I think? Well, from 9 to 16, the main ones. Between 10 and 16,000. Well, unless it's made of crocodile skin. When I was in Miami, they didn't have a watch like this, but here they do. Excuse me, no cameras allowed. I'm shooting myself. No cameras allowed here. I advertise you. Your store will be seen by many people on the internet. No cameras allowed here. Okay, I see. Guys, this is actually a great story. There's a very good consultant. Told me a lot of interesting things. Here's the watch. Bro, thank you so much for the gift. I'm sure you'll watch this video. So, they said that this watch is very rare and the order's closed for it, so it's impossible to buy it at the moment. Perhaps they'll reopen the order. And to order such a watch, you need to spend 100,000 dirhams on their chain. So the thing about Rolex is that you bought something from them and you have a good history, so to speak, so you can order a watch and you'll get it faster than anybody else. They just put you on the wait list and you don't know if you're gonna get it. All right, guys, we start our new topic. It's called eating out. Sergey, let's show our viewers the places to eat out in Dubai. What do you think about it? Okay. Let's start with the cheapest one and then end at the most expensive restaurant. Yeah, we start with the cheapest restaurants and we'll go higher and higher little by little. We've come to an old Dubai restaurant that's 50 years old, right? Yeah, it was opened in 1958. It's very cheap. It's located in old Dubai. It's really good. Everybody says they serve tasty food there, so now we're gonna come and try it ourselves. Parking here costs four dirhams an hour. That's about a dollar. And the fine's about $50 if you don't pay. I really like that people here react positively to the camera. What is this store? Let's go in and take a look. Oh, look, it's some kind of diner. Isn't it the restaurant? It is. Wow, looks cool. 
This is the restaurant. It's not easy to find. The entrance is quite strange. It's pretty clean. Oh, they brought us the menu. Mix for three costs 140 dirhams. Mix for two is 94. Mix for one is 44. Not that cheap, is it? Or it's okay. Well, it's pretty cheap. This is around two pounds a meat or even more. Mix for five people is 233 dirhams. Now I'll tell you how to order something delicious. Call the waiter, ask what their most popular dishes on the menu are, and order it. Let's check your life. Usually it works. Could you help us? What are the most popular items? Yeah. Okay, we'll have this. A few moments later. We'll have this, 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 and this. The waiter was like, guys, you've ordered too much for two people. You won't be able to eat all. Is it okay for you? He asked us three times. Although we ordered four dishes. No, no, we ordered six dishes. We ordered some soups, and we ordered the most popular items. All right, guys, so Sergey arrived in his new car. This is his fourth. <laughs> Alex, this is a present for you. Your birthday's tomorrow. Right. Anastasia comes tomorrow. I have this card for her so she can enter the building. To do this, you need to... If you've ever applied for a mortgage, it's a similar process. I mean, you need to write a letter and then pay the bill at the bank because online payment may take two weeks for some reason. And you also need to find a specific ATM where you need to deposit 500 dirhams for two cards. Therefore, today, we specifically took a beautiful car to go where? To the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. We'll show you a cool store that's nearby where we'll buy groceries because my kid's coming and I have, well, not a huge variety in my fridge, only sausages and tinned meat. It took us literally just three minutes. It took about five minutes to get here. No jams, nothing. We're off to explore yet another mall. Sergey said there are no brand stores here, so it's a regular neat and pleasant mall that has everything but the brand stores. We deposit 500 dirhams. We did about 15 minutes for it. Wait, don't tell them about it. I mean, this is a real quest. Okay, everything's right, yeah. It's, uh, it's about to give us a receipt. Ready? Cool. That's it, it's done. So this store is certainly not comparable to the ones in America. There's just some incredible variety here. I need to find a goat. I mean, not a real goat, but goat milk. They even sell buffalo-style yogurts. They have all kinds of milk, except for goat milk. We found a sheep milk yogurt. The most interesting thing is that there's also goat milk yogurt. We'll get this. Let me show you the prices. One gallon of milk costs 21 dirhams. Two liters cost 12 dirhams. So this is around six dirhams per liter. A pack of 10 organic eggs costs 23 dirhams. This is seven bucks. Just look at how many eggs are here. Unbelievable. We found a French goat cheese. It's camel's milk. I'm gonna try it. The best part is, beer here is very good. Just perfect. I recommend this one. I mean, it's, it's a store of incredible scale. Look, here we have shrimps. And this is, it says snapper. It's a snapper. So this one here is 15 dirhams per pound. Here we have legs, here we have chicken filet, it costs 34 dirhams, so this is 17 dirhams per pound, which is around five bucks. That's quite a lot. Check out this chicken. Looks good, doesn't it? How much do you think it's worth? 50 dirhams? 100 bucks. No way! Well, not exactly 180 bucks, it's 268 dirhams. How about we take a local chicken that used to run around here pecking at grains for 20? What have you found? So this one's 33 dirhams. Let's keep on searching. Well, I don't need a chicken for a hundred bucks. Mutton, these three pieces cost 86 dirhams. Four of these steaks cost about 80 dirhams too. I love these things. Thin Australian marbled beef costs 20 dirhams. There's even Brazilian beef. It is also 20 dirhams. So these pieces of tender meat cost around 15 to 20 dirhams. Such a pack of Coke costs 18 dirhams. They have all kinds of drinks here. Fanta, Pepsi, everything. But we're not going to buy it. It's not healthy. But I will. Really? Couldn't stand it? Yeah, I want it. 
book. It says Cuisines of the World. Here they are, Russian sunflower seeds. Let's get a pack of these. We have benches near the house, so we'll eat them a proper way, just like guys in Russia do. Great. Creamy flavored wafers. I'll get a pack of these as well. Pickles. By the way, there's a robot moving around. As far as I understand, it scans the shelves and collects data on where and how many items are left. They gave me this scroll of paper. In total, I spent 742 deer on. That's definitely enough for a week of hearty meals. This is a soup. I'm afraid to even try it. it doesn't look good, does it? Oh, it looks all right, don't worry. Oh, it's a good soup. Yeah, tastes pretty good. It's a lot like a pickle soup, huh? Onions, cucumbers. Cucumbers taste good. Veggies are good. The best, the best. Me, not the food. <laughs> wow, guys, this is really good. Check this out. It's a yogurt with fresh cucumbers. Mmm. Tastes like a mixture of sour cream, cucumbers, and something salty. I'm surprised it has no garlic in it. Usually they put garlic in things like this. Yeah, it's not sour at all. It's very mild. Surprisingly, it's very tasty. I don't think hummus will surprise us. Mmm. It's just great. Guys, it's a cool place. The most interesting thing is that I came here not hungry. I came here already full. And at the same time, everything here is very tasty. Yeah, there's a reason so many people are here. Guys brought us more food. Let me try this. I think it's mutton. We'll rate it from 1 to 10. 8. I'd even rate it a 10, but I just don't even know what kind of meat it is. And what's this? I don't like it when the meat's this color. Yellow. Well, it's because of the spices. It's also mutton. It's also tasty. But this one's better. I just don't like spices. It's terrible. Weird. Nah, I don't like it. It's sour. Ah, I wouldn't eat this. Terrible. There's too much lemon. What's this? A lot of lemon juice in it. If you take some paper, soak it in lemon, and fry it, you'll get the same taste. Uh, it's not to everyone's taste. I think there's just too much lemon in it. This chicken, right? Yeah, it's chicken. Hmm, it tastes like a kebab. It's spicy, but I don't really feel them. This meat is the best. So, we had this sultani, which is mutton. We ate mutton. It looks like this. Cool. It was tasty. People vote with their bellies. So this is number one. This is number two. This is number three and number four. Here was some meat that was flat and the other meat was kebab shaped. Kebab was good though. Yeah. It was just pure fatty meat without any seasoning added. I just want to point out that the rice is very tasty. This lemony stuff here isn't really as bad as we said. It's just not uh, everyone's taste. Well, now I actually kind of ate it and I remember the taste of it. It's kind of good. It doesn't even feel like meat. It feels like liver. Let's see, it's called kebab kas. So this is liver. That also says chicken or mutton. So it can be either a chicken or mutton liver. So guys, finally, I'm going on a date. Who do you think my date is? So I'm heading to the airport. Finally, I'll meet Anastasia and my son. I haven't seen him for a month and a half. I want to hug him so much you can't even imagine. I want to tell you about a great service from Emirates Airlines. They pick you up from home and then they take you where you want to go. They could take Anna to the place where I live, but I'm going to meet them myself because I can't wait to see them. This free cab service is included in the price of a business class ticket. There's uh, also a service called Fast Ride. This means that if you arrive by car, all your luggage is taken care of and you don't even touch your bags as you're escorted to the business lounge. You pass registration very quickly so you don't have to wait in lines. Anyway, I didn't know that there was such a thing at all. I ordered this for Anastasia for the first time in my life and she said, I felt like a queen, like I was with you. The driver asked me if I had time, meaning if he should drive faster. I said that she only arrives at 6 p.m. and now it's 5 p.m. 
But I always arrive in advance. I'd rather wait for her there than have Anna come and wait for me. In fact, in Dubai, everything's confidently done. There are no long queues. Everything's always fast here. So we'll see how prepared they are for the World Cup. All right, I'm at the airport. There are 30 minutes left before the plane lands, so I can take a walk around here. I want to show you what time the plane landed. Here, Moscow, 18.04. It's uh, about 6.30 p.m. now. 15 minutes to go out, 15 minutes to go through passport control, 15 minutes for luggage, so they should be out at about 6.45 p.m. Alex! Daddy! <laughs> I'm so happy Daddy. to see you! Mommy, this is for you. Tell me, how was your flight? I saw the flaps. Saw the flaps? Yeah. Tell me where you've come to. My camera broke down. It broke down. You didn't take it with you? Anna, how was your flight? It was okay. It was cool. I mean, smooth. Did they meet you at the gangway? Yes. As soon as we got out, he took my carry-on bag right away. I didn't touch a single suitcase. Here in the UAE, I got my luggage instantly. Sonny, you missed the door. Our home. So, briefly about how my day started. I went to the pool and I swam, caught Alex's bug. Where is the bug? Here it is. So I caught it. We also have some problems with the owner of this apartment. This is a guy from Pakistan. He's behaving very um, unkindly and does not want to transfer the ownership to me. He says, move out because the prices have gone up by about 50, 60% now. And it's always like this in December, January. The prices are the highest. So when I rented it in October, the price was much cheaper and he sees that. They want to buy his apartment and he's like, well, let me come here to show it to the buyers. Well, according to the law, tenants are strongly protected here. That is, he can't evict me from this apartment, even if I don't pay for the next year. And only after a year will he be able to sue me. In this regard, of course, it's pretty, pretty good and convenient. And he can come here twice a year and only by himself to check the condition of the apartment. I tell him, let's redo the contract. And he says, let's write in the contract that I can bring buyers. So the guy's acting pretty weird, but I need to make an ID for Anastasia. And for that, it's necessary to have a long-term lease. So, we'll try to figure out this situation. Honestly, I'm not a confrontational person, but when people behave like this, I mean... Why do you rent out the apartment then? I mean, it's not right. Uh, rent out an apartment and then want to sell it? What are you doing? I'm smoking, don't bother me. Put away the camera. Turn it in the <laughs> other direction. I'm not smoking there, I'm here. The floor here is on smoke. We don't have a nanny yet. Our nanny couldn't come and we can't find a nanny here yet. Well, we're not looking for one yet. First, we need to make an ID for Anastasia. Then we need to apply for an American visa again. We still can't get it. I don't understand why they don't give us a visa at all. It's very strange. Maybe for hating America? How could we not? It's our experience, right? We don't like the food there. But why should I keep quiet about it? The food there is really bad. What's good about this place? For example, you can always feed your child anywhere. In any kind of diner, you can find mashed potatoes or some kind of fish. Everything's deliciously cooked. But also here, everything's new, and there, everything's so old. It's mostly about the infrastructure. But overall, we like Miami. Don't say that I flip-flop. People often cling to the fact that when I talk about something I don't like, that it's kind of negative. It's just that sometimes you get tired of one place, and when you spend every day there, you see the pros and cons very clearly. By the way, Write in the comments if you want a separate video about the pros and cons of living in Dubai. I've been here almost two months and basically I clearly understand for myself what the pros and cons are for me. Guys, we're going to a birthday party with the men. Here's man number one and man number two. Finally, the weather's perfect. 
Forecast says it's 82 Fahrenheit, but it feels like 73. But the air here is, of course, not like in any other country. Okay, so we got this little Tiffany blue car. Alex has got to be happy about this. Sonny, where are we going? I am going to, to the restaurant. It's your dad's birthday. Sergey, thank you. Your birthday is very cool. Yes, Alex, I often have birthdays. You come every day. Especially if you pay, then it's great. Sergey's good because he doesn't eat anything and doesn't drink. I ate a shrimp. The shrimp cost me a lot of money. Happy birthday to you. Thanks. 39 years old. It's not a lot, but not a little either. By the way, guys, thanks to Sergey, I have a lot of content. He always suggests filming this or that. He's got lots of ideas. He's always like, let's go to the mall, let's go to the market, and so on. Sergey's in all the videos that have been released by now. He's just too lazy. The videos wouldn't be that cool if it weren't for me. Well, I am your subscriber. I was lacking content. And... You're subscribed to Alex's channel? Yes, I've been watching the videos for a long time. Very long time, yeah. Cool. One more, please. Thank you, everyone. Alex, how's the party going? How do you feel? <laughs> like I'm 39. <laughs> uh, you mean you're falling apart? Tired of the noise, huh? Oh, kind of like that. Uh, it's been pretty cool. We're just having fun, talking, having a good time. <sighs> I really want to dive into that kind of peaceful, so to speak, mood. Eh, maybe it's old age. But I just spent a month and a half without Anna. I got tired of hanging out. Tamar asked me if I'd let Alex go to the club today. And I'm like, do you want to go? And he's like, what do you mean? I said, I think Alex has already partied so much in two months here that he won't even want to anymore. The last thing I want to do is go to a club. Because it's shortened here or it's the same? What? <laughs> uh, it's been two months. Does it usually shorten? Do you have such an excuse? Sergey, please, stop. Hello again. I'm going to tell you about another problem I had with the local bank. It's called First Abu Dhabi Bank. This is the card. You can apply for a card remotely. You just fill out a form and they send you a free card two days later. They sent me this gold elite card. It has cash back and a bunch of other bonuses. It's a really cool card. It's uh, one of the best banks in Dubai. And I, foolish me, posted a video on my Instagram of myself unpacking the card. There was such a beautiful box, so those numbers got caught on video and some really bad people started debiting the card. I had to block the card and reissue it, but they've been delivering a new one to me for a week. Don't know why it's taken so long. It cost about 30 dirhams to reissue the card. Hello, the bad people. They're still trying to debit it. Guys, in case you think I'm lying, look at how many transactions have been attempted. It's been like 500 times. We're at a cafe called Drive-In by Porsche. It's on Blue Waters Island. This is the place where all the startuppers hang out. This cafe is like an office for us. Yeah, I mean, you come here with your laptop, sit down, order tea or breakfast, and sit here working all day. A lot of people come here, even people who don't live here. This is like a co-working space. They got cars here, they serve American food here, but it's pretty good. I would rate the food a seven out of 10. There are a huge number of seats on the top floor. This is what the cafe looks like. People always gather here in large groups. People work here. Business coaches. Dubai hustlers come here often too, as well as info hustlers. Make some jokes about me. Write in the comments who else comes here. We came to the Mall of the Emirates. Try to deal with the card quickly. This is what the bank looks like. That's the kind of sign they have. And here's the main competitor of this bank, Emirates NDD, National Bank of Dubai. We went to the bank and they're like, man, contact the call center and get out of here. I should have called right away and everything would have been solved instead of wasting my time coming here. Food is great. 
Could you tell us more about this place? Well, this place is here in Dubai for four generations. For my old grandfather, father was here 77 years, got better sold. This restaurant is 1978. This restaurant, 44 years. You have Iranian food, no spicy, healthy food, all different places come here. You know? This is called Mini Museum. Can we see the kitchen? Yeah, it's up. Really? Yes, please. Let's go, brother. Can we go? Yes, brother. They rarely butt you into the kitchen. Yeah. Yes, brother. This is where they cook the food. This is our minced kebab mutter. Oh. Yes, this is a minced one. Chicken zafran, baharoni chicken, baharoni mutton, minced kebab chicken, minced kebab mutton. Mixed clarinet for two parts. Yummy, yummy. This is our brother, our chef. Habibi. This is again, I'll tell you, the, the chicken, baharoni, minced kebab, mutton and steak, no fat, all protein. Oh, beautiful smell. I confirm it smells very good. Even though I'm full, it's delicious. Stay hot. So, guys, we showed you the kitchen. This is the first restaurant in Dubai that we told you about. It's pretty cheap. This is our legend. Khabib was here. So, Sergey, they brought us a dessert. Wow, let me try. Mm, so good. Oh, well, I agree. This is good. I think they put honey in it, and the one we tried before had some syrup. Prince Muhammad also came here, look. Here's a picture of him. They also have catering. You can order kebabs for your party, for example. Cool. We've tried seven items from the menu. Probably haven't even eaten 80% of that food. Basically, we ordered food for four or five people. Look how many awards they have. Here's a photo of Messi. Guys, write in the comments what inexpensive restaurants you know that we should go to and show you. Test it out, so to speak. We rate this restaurant an 8 out of 10, right? Why not more? 10, for example. For 10, you have to get wowed once you've entered it. Okay, let's rate a 9, though the fact that the toilet's not very clean because there are a lot of people there. And it's the only one there. So we give it a 9 out of 10. The bathroom was not so good. Everything else was perfect. Alex, say a few words. Say something to daddy. What can I get for you, Sonny? Two soups and salmon with mashed potatoes. All right, guys, here comes the top content. I'm really sick. This has never happened to me before. My son has the swine flu, influenza A, so-called. I put him and Anastasia in the British King's Hospital. Cost of treatment for two days was 12,000 dirhams. Illness hit me as well. I don't know what my temperature was because I didn't even have anything to measure it with, but I drank almost four gallons of water. I didn't eat anything. It's the third day today and I don't want to eat anything at all. I sweated a lot. I had some towels. I covered myself with them and could wring them out afterward. That was tough. Anna and Alex are home. There's a kind of swine flu going around or something. Tamiflu is almost impossible to buy. I could barely find two packs and they're coming today. Luckily, my friends had the pills. I thank them for giving it to me. That probably saved me. Sergey brought us some vitamins. Gonna check them out now. I feel... just perfect. Happy that I'm alive. They say illness is a tax on life, so-called. It's only at these moments that you realize what a thrill it is just to be healthy. And when you're doing well, you're healthy, you don't appreciate it for some reason. What's up, man? Italians worked on the car. Italians? Yeah. Show me inside. By Italians, I mean local Indians. Well, it looks kind of different. Here's what the car used to look like. Wow. This is so cool. Did you have it reupholstered or just died? It's all brand new. No way. It smells new. Is this supposed to be white? It's custom. That's cool that you did that. It looks ten times better. Okay, I need to get the cart. You brought me some vitamins, didn't you? Yeah. Show me. For you to eat. So, here we have eggs. Eggs? Yep. Did Anna ask you to buy eggs? It's a gift. Chicken eggs. Wait, I'll, uh, I'll get a cart. <laughs> Chicken eggs. <laughs> Sergey bought just a little bit. A full car. Man, I think this car is too small for this. No, you see, the funny thing is that I went to the market in my Kulinan and it has a smaller trunk than this one. I don't know why, I think it's because of the seats. They're adjustable and somehow there's less room in the back. Here are tomatoes from Uzbekistan. Oh my gosh. 
newspapers are in Russian. Did they come from Moscow? No, I think they came from Uzbekistan. Wow. Cool. Tastes like a mix of apple and cherry plum. I mean, it's good. Thank you, man. These are my vitamins. Okay, Alex, get better soon. Thank you, bro. Alright, let me know when you get better. Let me show you a kiwi. Never had one like this. Usually uh, eat them with a spoon. You just open it. Like this. Wash it first. You don't even need to wash it. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's just unbelievably delicious. I've never tasted kiwi like this before in my life. Let's try this. It tastes like an apple pear. This kiwi is so sweet. You will never find something like these Uzbek tomatoes in Miami for any money. Just look at them. They're packed in fresh newspapers. These tomatoes are sold in Moscow. They cost an insane amount of money, around five bucks per pound. Just pretty expensive for Russia. They're so sweet and delicious. They smell like tomatoes. They are so good. I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready to live in Dubai. The main thing is to have tasty food, and here you can really buy tasty products. I mean, in Miami, I spent three years suffering going around and searching through the stores and markets, but I could not buy good quality products. And here, you can find everything at the market. Look at the tangerines. Sergey sent us two kinds of tangerines. I wrote him a list and asked him to buy them. He went to the market, I asked him, please, Look for such small tangerines with thin skin, because our kid just can't physically eat big tangerines. And here we also have pears. These are from Azerbaijan. Look, it's from Azerbaijan. There's even a label on it. And this pepper just amazed me. It's like it just came from the garden. It smells so good. Smell it. Oh, wow. They don't I'm usually shocked smell. myself. I don't know how many years it's been since I've had peppers like this. You eat it and you can really feel the taste of it. it smells really cool. Sergey, kudos to you for the vitamins. Ah, this way we'll get better even no faster. No one's ever done something like this for us. Yeah, but Dubai's amazing, really, and that's cool. 